Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm extremely excited to bring to you the exclusive first look sneak peek at Maximum Settings AMD Tier 4 gaming rigs that will be coming out later this year. These consist of a Ryzen 5900X, AMD 6800 XT, 28GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 3600MHz RAM, 3TB mechanical hard drive, and 512GB SSD. Before we get into that, let me just give a huge shout out to Maximum Settings and thank them once again for giving my channel the access to this machine. I enjoyed a little over 48 hours with this, testing it, and I just really appreciate the support they give to the channel, and they definitely deserve it. They take really good care of their community and their content creators. Another huge shout out to the developers of OpenStream. The developers working on this software should be extremely proud of this piece of software, of what OpenStream is doing, not only for maximum settings, but for all the uses it has in streaming many different PCs, both locally and in the cloud for you. I've watched OpenStream come a long way from the time that it launched not that long ago, and I made my first video on it. And I said then it had a lot of potential, and we're already starting to realize that. The user interface is so much more friendly, the settings are easy to go through, and I had almost no issues during all my time of testing with this Tier 4 AMD rig with OpenStream connected to Moonlight. So those are the two things we're going to be taking a look at. OpenStream's performance and the performance of the hardware for the AMD Tier 4. Now, really quickly, the only difference that I have here from the specs that I gave to you is the CPU. We didn't have the 5900X ready to go just yet, so we've got the 5800X in here. And I gotta say, as good as the performance is in the benchmarks, in the gaming, and with the uh, encoding and streaming with OpenStream, it's only gonna get better with the 5900X. When that becomes available, I'll be doing testing on that for you as well. And when the Tier 4 rigs become more readily available, I'll be testing many games and many different things out on those systems. So, really excited to get into that. But getting this first exclusive look at what the future looks like for Maximum Settings Tier 4 AMD was really exciting. And it was just a great time running through all these benchmarks, running through all the game tests. So, here's what we're doing. This is video part one. This is that nerdy video with all the numbers you want to see with 3D Mark, Heaven Benchmark, Cinebench, and all that kind of stuff. Part two, which is released at the same time as this video, is seven games being tested. It's what I had time for. I'll be doing more in the future, but it's gonna give a great idea of how the system's performing, how does OpenStream look when it's streaming to you, what is the motion like, and what does the latency feel like? We'll be going over all those things in a couple of videos that we have here. But this video is dedicated to the benchmarks. So we're gonna talk about how it feels on the desktop, we're going to go through and look at the benchmarks and talk about those a little bit and more about the performance of the system. So again, thank you to Maximum Settings. Great job to the developers on OpenStream. This was a lot of fun to test. Now let's go and get into what is the future of Maximum Settings Cloud PC AMD Tier 4 Gaming Rigs. All right, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is OpenStream really quickly here. Of course, running to Moonlight here, game streaming on the local PC. System resolution 1440p and 1440p 120 stream from Moonlight. That's for this video and part two, the whole way through everything 1440p. Now, here's the OpenStream. You can see here I am running .264 for most everything. It's the smoothest, most low latency I could get going, and it seems to be the way everybody's kind of going right now uh, for this. This is pretty much the default settings. It's so easy to go in here and work with these settings and get the exact performance that you want to get and uh, they've just made this so nice you can see we've got all the different encoders that are getting included here and like I said before getting really impressed with OpenStream so I mentioned desktop performance so just really quickly man the latency is like not even there the responsiveness of the mouse no pixelation while scrolling web pages I was so surprised at how good the desktop experience was here. I always used to say use Moonlight for gaming and Parsec for the desktop experience, but that has definitely changed. I thought this just felt super responsive, looked really good uh, for the picture quality, and I was definitely blown away, blown away by just how good the desktop experience felt on here, even though I was mostly into testing the benchmarks and the gaming. So jumping over to Cinebench R20, I have not adopted R23 just yet on the channel. It does things a little differently and the scores for this are more readily available. For a VM, a virtual machine, I wasn't sure what to expect, but we did pretty good running at a 5734 here. So I was really happy to see that. Can't wait to check this out as well. Running with the 5900X, but this was fantastic system performance right here. 
Now the next thing we want to jump into is heaven. So I'm not going to run this in benchmark mode as I usually don't and I'm not going to run this all the way through. I've just got this up to show you just how good this looks. You can see MSI Afterburner over there giving you the performance numbers. Really important for you to be able to see all of that and just see how good the motion is. What I was really blown away by here is even though we do get some of the pixelation here and there and it's not always present or in every game, it is so smooth. I really just, in my 48 hours or so of testing this system, almost never experienced a stutter and I never had a disconnect and I never had huge latency jumps or issues. Honestly, I was just really surprised at how good this AMD tier four rig and the new version of OpenStream were running. It was really impressive. So I'll let you watch a little bit more of this heaven benchmark right here. And then we'll jump over to uh, the next thing. We'll get into 3D Mark. All right, so jumping into Time Spy. So I apologize, I didn't realize that my MSI Afterburner when I first started this was up, but I didn't record it, I didn't show it. So I'm not gonna do my usual, go through the whole demo for you and then show you the score. I'm just gonna show a little bit of the demo running here and then I'm gonna let you see the first graphics test so that you can at least see the numbers running uh, in Time Spy, even though it's not the same as being in the demo. Uh, and then uh, for the rest of the test, everything will be normal as I usually do it, but do a little bit different for Time Spy here but look it looked so good here now in the first graphics test here you go you can see msi after burner up we've got great usage on our gpu again and everything looking really smooth looking really nice so rather than just keep going through this the entire time uh i just at least wanted you to see a little bit of it but let's go ahead and just jump over to what the score was we got for time spy all right, so for Time Spy, we got 13,763. Now let's go ahead and move on over to Fire Strike, where I can do things a little bit more normal for you here. You can check out the whole demo running with MSI Afterburner. So smooth. The system performance here, again, was really good. So check out this demo running on this new AMD rig with OpenStream, and then uh, we will get our score here at the end.
All right, so there you have it, 29,677 for our Fire Strike score. Pretty good there. So I wasn't going to do this, but I did Port Royal anyway. I've got those RT cores. I wasn't expecting a very high FPS. This is really a crusher on GPUs, but I wanted to throw it in here. Uh, it was cool to see it. So check out uh, this demo running, and then we'll jump into our score. All right, there you have it, 8,359 for Port Royal, ray tracing with the 6800 XT. So the last one is superposition. I'm going to let this benchmark actually run all the way through as a benchmark. You can, guys can see the performance here. You can see the settings we're going with here. And man, was the picture quality and motion and system performance here really, really good for this benchmark. So go ahead and check this out, and uh, we'll uh, recap when we get to the end.
All right, there you go. We've got our score 13,574. All right, guys, there you have it. Open stream and the AMD tier four gaming rig coming from Maximum Settings. Again, shout out to Maximum Settings for allowing me to do these videos. Shout out to the developers of Open Stream. I really had a great experience. I really enjoyed doing this testing. If you haven't already checked out part two, the uh, seven games running on this system, there's a link in the description below, or you can go find it on the channel in the Maximum Settings playlist. I've been testing this cloud PC for quite a while, so there's a lot of videos there that you can check out on the service. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to hit me up in the comments down below, join the Discord, and get in on the conversation over there. Maximum Settings as well has a fantastic community on their Discord that can help you out with any questions you might have as well. So again, this was really exciting to do. Thanks a lot for coming to check it out. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.